Okay. I have to say, this is one of the most friendliest cats I've ever met. Um, he, I just literally met him a minute ago. And he's on my lap. A minute ago, I just went in there, reached him, took him out of his cage, and brought him in the break room, just so I could get some pictures of him. And he's already in my lap. Oh my god, he is so sweet. <laughs> I can't take video of you if you're so close. Oh my God, I love this guy. He's such a good guy. He's such a good guy. Oh my goodness, you're the bestest, bestest, bestest cat. Oh, we gotta find him a home. He, um, um, I happened to be in here the other day when some guy was in here talking about him and he had been um, feeding him you know, because he's so friendly, but he, you know, he, for some reason, I didn't know all the details, but for some reason, he cannot keep him or have him. So he was just feeding this cat outside. He obviously was owned by somebody else because he's extremely, I mean, affectionate. So, um, so he just wanted to get him in before it got cold. You know, the winter's coming. Um, it's, uh, almost the end of October and he just wanted to see if maybe we could find a home for him. Um, he, he tried pet project, but we're full. So that's how he ended up here, but he seems to be really like the guy must have, you know, he's pretty well taken care of. You can tell he's well fed. He's got really nice coat. He's kind of like a um, apricot color, um, like a light orange. You know, he's not like that deep dark orange. He's kind of kind of like a little bit of white on his chest. Um, you want to get up on the table? He's got what color eyes you got, sweetie? Kind of like golden or light green. He's so nice. You're the kind of kitty. <laughs> You're the kind of kitty that needs to get out there and go to places and show how sweet and friendly and outgoing and great cats are. You're like a, I don't know, what do they call? Like a mascot or something. Yeah, spokes cat. You can be like a spokes cat for great cats everywhere. Um, I don't know if he's been, he's probably not been neutered. I don't know. I have to find out if he's already neutered or not. He could be. Can you jump up there and let me take a look? <laughs> oh, he's a pretty big boy. He won't let me take a look. Can you look for the camera so we could just... <laughs> oh, he's a great cat. I mean, it's, I know people like kittens, but... You know, you get an adult cat like this, and you know what you're getting right from the bat. Now, this is the kind of cat that's probably going to be all over you. So if you don't want a cat, some people don't want cats that are overly friendly. Um, if, you want a, you know, if you want a cat that's probably going to be in the middle of everything, he won't be afraid of anyone. Anyone that comes over to your house to visit, you know, he's just going to be right there. Can I take a look? I can't, oh, I can't see. Well, let's put you down on the floor so people can get a good look at you, okay? Okay, there he is. He's very handsome. He's very handsome. His tail kind of has a little stripe to it. He's got some faded, faded, very faded tabby. He's a really pretty color. Really cool looking. Yes. Oh, who's in there crying? That's probably Bruce. Is that Bruce? He's just purring away. Yeah, you're just so handsome. I love you already and I just met you. I love you already. I love you. I love you. I gotta find you a good home. I mean, we have great cats. We have Don Juan and Bruce that are both excellent. I mean, he's probably probably Don Juan is about as friendly as him. But I don't know. He might. This guy might even be friendlier. We gotta figure out a name for him. What should we call you, Webster? Webster's cute, huh? Webster, what do you like? What name do you like? I still can't tell if he's neutered. He's very handsome. Do you like your belly rubbed? Huh? Can you get any more friendlier? Oh, poor Bruce. Can you get any friendlier? Well, I could videotape him for hours, but you kind of, <laughs> you definitely get the idea of what kind of a temper Minnie has. Okay, I'm thinking kind of looks like a Webster. I don't know. I'll think of something. Okay, big boy. 
He just wants to know what I'm doing. Big boy. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just had to take more video of him. <laughs> I can't leave him. I've been sitting in here with him. He just He's very mellow. He's kind of, you know, wants to be in your feet. It reminds me exactly of my cat, Greta. She kind of pulls my hand to me and nibbles at it and rubs. But now Greta would only do that to me. Somebody she's known for 12 years. This cat I've known for minutes. Not only that, he was just brought into the vet yesterday. Just, you know, he was an outdoor cat, stray cat. Um, just brought into the vet yesterday, thrown in a cage. I met him today, and this is, he's been sitting on my lap for like 10 minutes. I mean, he's just so mellow. He'd be fine around other cats as long as they liked him. I took him out there, and one of our cats, Bruce, doesn't is a wonderful cat, but he doesn't really like other cats, especially new ones. And this guy, we, oh, I named him Webster. This guy just kind of looked at him like, okay, whatever, I'll just go the other way. He's just kind of mellow, and, you know, I think he might be neutered. I'll, I'll write that in his, I have to check with the girls that work here, but look like he might have already been neutered. I, I'm, I can't imagine, you know, obviously somebody else owned him and let him go or maybe he wandered off or something, but just look at him. It's the perfect cat. As long as you want a cat that's going to be in your face all the time. I mean, he's, he's just, <laughs> he's a lap cat. He just wants to constantly sit on my lap and just nuzzle me and he's a good boy. He's a very good boy. <laughs> I'm sure he's a lays on his back. Yeah, he's really easygoing. Like I said, he just got here yesterday. I mean, sometimes it takes cats weeks and months for them to get to this position, but I can't say enough good things about him. Except for he's not declawed, which is fine with me. I know some people like, like declawed cats, but... He's so good, I don't think you'd have a problem. Just make sure you get a good scratching post. A couple of scratching posts, and, you know, I usually put one in almost every room, especially at first, and um, I don't think you have to get him to claw. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Look at him. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave and put you back in your cage. Aww. Okay, I just wanted to show you. And we're just chilling. Me and Webb. Me and the web man. Me and the web boy.